What's going on folks and welcome to another scum video. I hope we're doing well. Now today, I could put this up as a one minute scum tips guys, but I'm not going to do that. And I hope that this really does help. There's a ton of content I want to get out there and I'm going to start with some of these smaller videos for you guys. We're still going to do the one minute series, um, but there's a couple of things I really want you guys to see because not everyone does see the one minute series in the playlist. Um, now, if you are in a big squad and you're a bit tight for space, this is kind of how your beds are going to look in here for bigger squads, okay? So this is just going to be one area. Now, my friend Overwatch here has found a way to actually make bunk beds, which is going to save you a ton of room. So you can see the space that we have here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to destroy these and then he's going to start actually building the bunk beds. Now, we are in single player. Um, so to speak, we've actually, we're actually on our own, uh, private server. So, uh, we can actually go into God mode and then just build stuff quickly so you guys don't have to watch us, for, like, scavenge for all the bits and bobs and stuff, which is going to make life a lot easier, um, just by spawning it in. So, that's why you're going to see stuff being spawned pretty quick, because for the purpose of the video, it will make life a lot easier. So, Overwatch, when did you figure this out? How did you find this idea out? Because this is actually pretty in intuitive, man. This is actually really good. Um, I just thought, could I build a bed on a table? Right. And I thought, well, what if I do that, then destroy the table with the bed on it? Will it destroy the bed? Or will the bed stay floating in the air? And the bed stays floating in the air. And so it's... I then built a bed underneath the first bed. Right. And then Bob's your auntie, auntie's uncle and all that malarkey. <laughs> Bob's your uncle and your auntie's uncle. And uh, yep. a bunk bed was formed. All right, show us how it's done then. I want to see this. All right, so. He's been dying to show me all, for ages. I want to see this. Right, go on. So over, <laughs> to, over to you. Over to you. Go on. Right, table craft. So you have to craft certain things to get this First. to work. Right, I got you. So far. Right, now, can I just do that? I can just check some things. I'm not sure. I can... No, I've got to do two tables. you got to do two Sorry, tables. Yep, two tables, end to end. Right, okay. You'll see that. No, that's that's not good. Oh, I see what you're Mr. Yeah, Kit, can you please can you please destroy that second table for me, please, sir? Of course. I will, yeah. Thank you. And for anyone in the video who starts crying that Overwatch's mic's a little bit fuzzy, he's not using his good mic at the minute because he's uh, we've only got a certain amount of time to to get this video done. So he's just jumped on. Uh, with not a lot of time. So thank you, Overwatch. Appreciate that. You're more than welcome. Because you do sound like someone being stuffed into a pillow right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, so you get two tables end-to-end, -end, yeah? No, I've made a mistake. It's edge-to-edge. Out of the way, please, sir. You're not going to get closer than that, though, are you? Right. Right, I see what you're doing. I'm very intrigued by this because he's been dying to show me for ages because it's like I was saying, if you, I mean you've got an upstairs here, I'll quickly show you the upstairs guys. I mean you've got a lot more room up here and I know most people aren't gonna be fussy about the room, but this is a big cabin. There are smaller cabins that you can make stuff in, but you're going to be tight for space at the end of the day. So this is just using your noggin, you know, this is just using your brain and it's just going to change things a little bit easier. So or make destroy all four easier. tables, please, Mr. Kit. All four tables, please. Right. OK. Destroying. So how many high can you go? Can you do two or three? Or can you only do two? I've done, I have done three. You have done three? Uh-huh. And you right. can probably go more. Right, I've got you. Okay. Aesthetically, two looks best. Right, okay. Right, so now you build a second bed underneath the first. Right, I see, yeah, I see what you're doing there. In fact, no, before you do that, what you do, before you do the second bed, you build your lanterns on the floor and you line them up with the corners of the bed as best as you can. Okay. 
But if it's not perfect, it doesn't matter. So you don't really need the standing torches, guys. It just makes it look a little no. bit more realistic. It just it makes yeah. it more aesthetically realistic than just having a floating bed, so to speak. Did you want me to go and put some on this end of the bed? Can do. Right, so advanced standing torches, yeah? Uh-huh. Right, I see. Right, so if I place one there, and then place another one, like, here. Uh, that's the only place I'm going to be able to put it. Anyway, you guys get my drift. You get our drift. This is what you're going to have to do. So, you can make a bunk bed like that. And if I rest on there, and then go to third person, you can see Whitey underneath, mm -hmm. just like that. That's actually pretty cool. See? That's actually pretty decent. So you can actually save yourself some time, make a little bunk bed like that, save some space. Guys, that's literally it. There's not much to it. Overwatch, thank you very much for um, for showing us this. This is actually pretty cool, indeed. So, um, guys, make sure to smash that thumbs up for Overwatch. Don't forget to hit the uh, juicy red button down below if you want to see some more stuff like this. Follow the channel and uh, stay safe, and I'll catch you on Monday for the next stream. Peace out. <laughs>